Hello team. We've got a break from practices and games coming up, and so I wanted to make a couple of videos to demonstrate some games you can play to keep in shape and work on your skills, either by yourself or with a sibling or parent. This first set of videos focuses mainly on wall ball. Um, using a wall, either at a playground or a school, is a really good way to work on a lot of different skills and get a lot of touches to when you aren't gathering as a team. There are basically three kinds of wall ball games. There's individual wall ball games, there's cooperative wall ball games that you can play with a partner or a small group, and then there's competitive wall ball games. This video is going to focus on the individual wall ball games, and then I'll make another video with the cooperative and competitive. So the wall that we're working with here, we've set up so that it has three targets. We make these targets either with sidewalk chalk or with tape. We have two small low targets and one bigger central target. We're going to start with individual drills. This is just a warm-up cycle. We'll do 10 push passes with the right foot, 10 push passes with the left foot, and then 10 with alternating foot. And then you can redo that cycle as you want. We're going to keep our ankle locked and our toe up on our kicking foot. We're going to hit the top half of the ball. We're going to stay on our toes so we're ready for however it comes back. Right? Go. Right foot. Try to one touch it, but two touch it if you have to. The traffic is good. The traffic helps you pay attention to the ball. You're done with the left, switch to both, which Alethea's already done. Next cycle, we're going to do the same thing with the right, then the left, then switch, but we're going to strike the ball with our instep. And so we're going to work on our, point, our toe pointing down. So you're going to keep your ankle locked again. Same thing um, on your toes. This is just like a shot, except you're going to try to keep it low and hit the target. do is we're going to work on balls bouncing back off the board. We're going to try to hit the ball either with a punt or a volley so that it hits about halfway up the board and then comes back to you. You have to field it off some part of your body and then volley it again. The idea with a volley, as it comes into you, you want to choose your, the surface of your body you're going to drop it with first and then try to hit it off of one or two touches. Next we're going to do goalkeeping. With goalkeeping we're going to try to blast the ball into the wall and then catch it with good goalkeeping form. Either with the W up high or with the scoop down low. Finally, we're going to use that third high target in order to work on some shots and driven balls. The idea here is simply to try to get the ball into this target by lifting it. 
We're going to strike the ball, try to hit the target. The most important thing to focus on here is actually your footwork. As the ball comes off the wall, you want to move your feet and get your body into line with the ball. You don't want to just stick out your foot and have the ball bounce off it. You want to move your body so that when the ball reaches you, you're well balanced and in a good position to adjust your kicking foot to strike the ball. And then I like to finish these workouts with a momentum workout. The idea here is that you're going to play the ball towards the wall and then keep running towards the wall and try to play the ball as many times as you can while you run towards the wall. So usually I can get about three touches in. If I can get that fourth touch in, that's like bonus. So those are the components of the individual wall ball workout. There are obviously lots of different variants of each of these and lots of things you can do just by yourself with the wall. I'm gonna post a longer goalkeeping video to go along with this, and then the next video we'll move on to what we see here are the cooperative and competitive games that you can play with a partner. Until then, I hope you're having a good time away from the field, and we'll talk to you soon.